first, it's wedding week, mm -hmm. and we're doing wedding week because KHQA's bridal extravaganza is on Saturday, and we've been talking weddings all week. And this morning, Lindsay is accessorizing the bridal party. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, guys. Yes, we're not only accessorizing the part, the bridal party, but we're also talking about things for the brides as well. And we have some head models here with uh, some veils. Carol Schaefer joins me now uh, with I Do Bridal and explain a little bit about what we have going on here. Um, right now we have where brides, when they want to go and pick um, what they want to accessorize for their heads, a lot of brides will wear the veils. Um, they also wear the veils but they accessorize with tiaras, they mm -hmm. accessorize with combs. That way when it comes time for the reception, they can simply take off the veil and their hair is still accessorized. Um, we also have a bunch of the different bracelets. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on if the bride is wearing pearls or rhinestones or crystals, that way they can accessorize a lot to met to bring out a lot of their dress features. I've seen a lot of brides wearing not necessarily the long veils that they used to wear, but more of like a bird cage style. Is that what, kind of what yeah, this is? That's exactly what this is here. Um, there's many different um, styles. This one is more of a intertwined. The, um, a lot of the more traditional bird cages have the more opened mm -hmm. um, holes in them. And this one is a, another veil that clips into the hair. Yes, that's correct. It also has the blusher on it. That when the bride goes down the aisle, she would wear this, and then the tradition is the father pulls it back. And we also have um, this right here is a headband. Yes. Brides are wearing these more and more. Are they wearing them with veils? Or are they wearing them without the veils? They wear them with the veils. Okay. Um, and then, as I said before, when they take off the veil for the reception, they still have this in their hair. Cool. And we have some other hair pieces here, too. There's a lot of flowers in um, feathers that are the new style mm -hmm. that um, brides are having fun with, um, kind of bring out a different inner self of them. And shoes. Yes. Not shoes. necessarily the white shoe that matches the dress. A lot of brides are going with colored shoes. Yes, they are. Um, they can be dyed. Um, a lot of them will do the fun where they match the bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them will do them blue. So that is their something blue. Ah, very creative. Like mm -hmm. this one has a blue flower on it. Yes. All right, and we're going to talk a little bit more about dresses here coming up um, in the next half hour. We're going to do some brides' dresses, how to fit your body and find the perfect dress. Guys. Great. And if you borrow those shoes from an older relative or friend, you can mm. have something old borrowed and something and borrowed blue. and blue. All, all in the shoe. Very smart. All in the shoe. <laughs> I like it. All right. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Doing it. We have one model right here. How long did it take for you to pick out this dress? Okay, I'll let you think about that. And we've got some other models that are going to be modeling some dresses coming up next. We're just kind of getting a live look into every girl's dream of a perfect wedding dress, but <laughs> sometimes it's just not quite as easy as walking in and falling in love. Right. I think uh, Lindsay's making friends with the mannequins <laughs> there, and she made friends with the uh, CPR mannequin last week when she was teaching uh, lifeguarding skills. They don't talk back much to her, I don't they think. They don't. That's good. <laughs> she is out to help you find the perfect dress for not only you, the bride, but also your bride's maids. Good morning, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Yeah, you know, I don't know what it is. They just won't talk back to me. <laughs> uh, last thing. week we had the same problem, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. Uh, Carol will talk back to me though. <laughs> She'll talk back with me, not at me, but with me. And um, we're going to do some, some bridal displays here. And what is this first dress that we have? This first dress is a Maury Lee. Um, Kayla is showing this. Um, it's a very rouge. It's a drop waist. Mm -hmm. It shows very slimming. It's got a fun train that's got the pickups on the back of it. Mm -hmm. The front is very <laughs> flat with the pleats on it. Um, it's just a great shape for Kayla. What now? What type of of dress would this type type of what type body type would this dress look best on? Well, it looks good on a lot of girls actually. Mm -hmm. um, different size. Um, the the more voluptuous some women mm -hmm. who like to show off more of their curves mm -hmm. um it does a great job of that yes it looks very very nice thank you it kayla does. we're gonna have rachel come in now and what kind of dress is this this is a lace dress by casablanca mm -hmm. um it's a lot more vintage is what some girls are going for mm -hmm. these days um that's the style that this is it's got a little cap sleeve on it mm -hmm. so it looks great it's it's kind of a long line also with a trumpet mm -hmm. and what body type would this work best for um, more of your petite slim okay. girls. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. And how do you, 
owning a bridal shop, how do you choose which dresses would look good on which girls? Well, you have to bring in a variety mm -hmm. um, because we're not all made the same. Mm -hmm. So you have to bring in a variety that you feel is going to fit your girls. Um, you kind of start seeing too by girls coming in um, what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of base that to start buying them. Now, there are different body types. A more boyish uh, form would yes. look best in... Um, well, it kind of depends. Mm -hmm. A lot of different styles. Mm -hmm. And it, you'll be surprised, too. Um, a lot of girls will come in and say, well, I don't think I'll look good in this or that. And once you start putting the dresses on, the mm -hmm. girls get a better feel. And they surprise themselves by what they look good in. What is one thing that you want brides to know before they come in? Um, well, there's a couple points. It's always great to bring your mother and friends. Mm -hmm. um, you need someone else's opinion. And it's good to come with a budget kind of know where you're going mm -hmm. to be based um, on your purchase price. Um, other than that, and then have an open mind. Mm -hmm. um, we try, we might try to put something on you that you might not think you'll like, but that's just for the fun of it. You don't want to walk in and be like, I'm just going to buy one certain dress <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> can you bring too many people? Sometimes you can bring too many people. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's good to keep it to about two or three, okay. sometimes four. Um, sometimes you can do more of a private session too. Mm -hmm. You can do after hours or on Sunday mornings, that type of thing. And we're going to have lots more to show coming up this Saturday. Yes, we are. Yes. Um, the bridal show there at the Oakley Lindsay Center. All right. Yep. Great. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. you ladies for modeling those dresses. We're going to talk a little bit more about the other people in your wedding party coming up here in a little bit. Guys. Very nice. And this Saturday, uh, I know there's several of us here at the station modeling. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a wedding dress, but I got a, a nice tux. Always the bridesmaid, never bride. <laughs> well, bridesmaids have so many options for dresses, but chances are not all the girls in your bridal party are going to have the same body type. I thought it was the bride's decision. It's not. Any, I mean, a lot of times the bridesmaids are having more of a say-so, or at least I hear. Very nice. Well, Lindsay Boach is live this morning making sure everybody in your wedding party it looks fantastic. <laughs> Lindsay? Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, a, a lot of times the bride will pick a color, and then the bridesmaids can kind of choose... Um, which, you know, they have like mix and match tops and bottoms that that's becoming really popular. Um, Carol joins me now. If you're not doing a mix and match, how do you pick a dress that looks good on all of your bridesmaids? Well, sometimes it's kind of hard, mm -hmm. but um, basically I would just come in and start with bringing a couple of your girls, mm -hmm. um, choosing two or three styles that pretty much kind of fit everybody. Mm -hmm. A lot of styles anymore these days um, look great on anybody, mm -hmm. any body type. So that way you can narrow it down and then the bride can have the ultimate final decision. And it's important to match your bridesmaids with your groomsmen. That's right. Yep. Yes. Yep. Um, you definitely want to tie in the collar with them so they can um, stand out mm -hmm. with everybody. And uh, Kayla's going to demonstrate or model this dress. Explain a little bit about what this <laughs> bridesmaid's dress is. This is kind of an empire waist dress mm -hmm. um, and it has a lot of flow to it. And as she's standing beside the bride model, it also has a lot of the flow. It's mm -hmm. kind of a princess dress. Um, a lot of brides will make their bridesmaids or, you know, coincide them so mm -hmm. they look good together. All right. And let's talk about Rachel's dress. Same way with Rachel. Um, she's got the fun 3D flowers on hers. Mm -hmm. Um, and the bride that she was standing by has, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that she's gone back to, <laughs> that bride on that dress, it also has the 3D flowers that stick off of it. So to kind of make the dresses go together is also kind of a fun and it looks great in pictures. What are some things that brides need to know when they're coming to pick out bridesmaids dresses? Well, um, first you kind of want to start, maybe have a small idea of what um, color scheme that mm -hmm. you're going with. It's also good to keep in mind when, well, of course, you know when your wedding date is, mm -hmm. but um, if you're doing summer and spring and the fall and the winter, um, you definitely don't want in the winter, you don't want to put a short dress on a girl. Right. <laughs> um, you can, mm -hmm. but they'll be very cold. Mm -hmm. So more of a tea length or the the long dresses mm -hmm. would be a lot better. Oh, go ahead. No, and same way, <laughs> same way in the spring and the uh -huh. summer. A lot of girls will put a light chiffon dress mm -hmm. because in the summer that's just a great feel for the girls. Um, do you see a lot of color trends that are happening? A lot of purples, mm -hmm. a lot of teals, um, but the brides really just do what they want, what they've envisioned, what they've been dreaming of for so long. That's what they do. All right. Thank you very much. And thank you models again for demonstrating these beautiful bridesmaids dresses. And again, we'll be at the um, KHQA Bridal Extravaganza this weekend and you guys will be there as well. Yeah. We're going to put on a fashion show there that starts at 315.